Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel TNR. So bear with me. I have some mistakes to show you first and then we'll start the tutorial. So what I'm doing here is I am mixing this jasmineite and I've taken this according to the amount I need and I will link a jasmineite calculator in the description so you can mix uh, easily by calculating how much you need. So this is actually a DIY sort of uh, container I'm making with jasmineite. So yeah, I'm mixing here my jasmineite and making sure there are no lumps. So after mixing my jasmineite, I am adding this black salt. It is a mixture of charcoal and other herbs. So hence it's called black salt and it's for protection and other magical properties. So I decided to make it a bit magical. That's why I'm adding this black salt and again I'm mixing it. So now uh, here I'm using oil on both of these containers so that uh, it can demold easily when the jasmineite is cured. And one final mix. And here I'm adding my jasmineite into this glass container and I will be topping it with the other container to make a dish and we'll let it cure for around 35 minutes so after around 35 minutes, I can see that it's still not cured. Um, some of the reason might be that salt that I've added. So after a lot of struggle, it was not coming out. I had to dig. So this was a fail. But just to let you know that I was able to remove the jasmineite from these containers. So now it's take two and I have taken this silicon mold. And I have already mixed my jasmineite. So I will be again using the oil onto the other container. I don't want to use it into the silicone container, but the, this one I want so that it can be removed easily. So here I'm adding my jasmineite again into the silicon mold. And now I will be topping it with this container to make a dish and I will let it cure for around 25 minutes. So after 25 minutes I thought it's cured now because I am removing the jasmineite from the mold. So it's coming out easily. So the outer part is cured and now I will be pulling out the container from the jasmineite. So again, it was really hard to pull, even though I've put oil. And here, another mistake is that my jasmineite wasn't, wasn't cured because it was, I don't know what happened here, but it was not cured. So it did break into pieces, but I did re remove it from the mold. And this is how many pieces I got, but I didn't got this hearted here. And what I did is I use a air dry clay. And so here I will be going towards the kintsugi technique the art of healing where you join and construct the broken pieces into one again by using golden lines as a healing so i'm using a, a das here air dry clay you can use any air dry clay here so now i am fixing the broken pieces onto this air dry clay
and I think this way is better by applying in the center the a right clay and now I will be just firmly smoothing it into the bowl making sure it has been covered all the edges So it took me some time because I wanted to make sure that it's been secured and on the and for extra security I use a rubber band to hold the shape together and now with the water I am just smoothing it and this took around three to four days to dry so what I'm doing here is I am topping it with now with jasmineite because when the air dry has been dried it has you know removed or it has been shrunken you can say because jasmineite itself do not attaches to anything so I need to bind it together so I am topping it with more jasmineite now just to make it one piece and cover the air dry clay into the jasmineite. and we'll let it cure so what I'm doing here is I am now decorating my kintsugi dish and this is a mixture of sand and different grits of sand fine uh, scores and in the sand I mix some resin and some mica powder you can see in my previous video there I have made how to make these sand for a crystal effect I will link that video in my geode tutorials so for the crystal effect I am using the sand mixture here because it's mixed in resin so this will attach itself to the jasmineite and in between this sand I will be adding some crystals as well to give that extra touch And we'll let this piece to cure so this is around after a day and I'm again topping it with the jasmineite just to make sure that it's been all covered in jasmineite while smoothing the jasmineite I went with the texture here and you will see in a moment I just created when my jasmineite was about to settle I just make some texture into my dish I went with the organic shape here and I have seen a lot of ceramic artists making so many amazing designs like this raw so I thought why not try it with jasmineite so because it was in the curing position uh, time the lines held its shape and it didn't move back so I got a beautiful texture into the dish and plus the, it was really satisfying to make these lines
so everything is cured now and i have put some crystals onto the resin and what i did here is i used this gilding glue into different positions where there were cracks and now it's dried and sticky and now i will be using mirror gold gold onto this gilding glue As soon as this mirror gold touches anything it becomes really amazing and beautiful and i really love the simplicity of this dish plus it's an organic you can use it in different ways and i have some ways to show you so this is the final look and this is what i was really excited about i saw this candle on different places and i thought why not try it it looks really fun so you just pour these um, beads and these are wax beads into the dish where you want to lit your candle. Just simply pour into the container. And it comes with its wax. So now I'm cutting it according to the size I want. So no hassle in making a candle, no melting, nothing. Just pour the beads, put your wick and you're ready to go. So here I'm using only one but later on I decided to use three different places. And now is the fun time. I will be lighting these candles. So this was really fun to do and let's enjoy the moment. So now I will be blowing off the candle and showing you how you can easily remove the wicks and one by one. So this is how it looks but it will keep on burning. And you just tap it again and it becomes to the original shape. Uh, as before and with new wicks you can light it again so this is a fun video and it was a process video where i showed you how i reconstruct this broken dish and went with the kintsugi technique so this dish can be used as a crystal dish as well you can put your crystals your jewelry anything so sky is the limit so I hope you like it and if you did please do let me know in comments also please like subscribe and share thumbs up if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed please consider do so because I make a lot of fun videos and different techniques. So see you in next video take care bye bye.